How long does it typically take to see a reduction in white blood cell count after treatment begins? Hello and welcome to our discussion on a very important aspect of medical treatment, the reduction in white blood cell count after initiating treatment. This subject is often relevant in a range of medical conditions, including but not limited to leukemia, lymphoma, and patients undergoing chemotherapy or radiotherapy. It's important to note that the timeline for a reduction in white blood cell count can vary greatly, depending on numerous factors such as the specific condition, the type of treatment, and the patient's overall health. What is white blood cell count? White blood cells, or leukocytes, are an essential part of the immune system. They are the body's primary defense against infections and disease. A high white blood cell count often indicates an ongoing fight against an infection or illness, while a low count may suggest vulnerability to infections. Certain medical treatments, especially those targeting cancer, aim to reduce a high white blood cell count, which is common in these conditions. How do treatments affect white blood cell count? There's a wide range of treatments that can affect white blood cell count. For instance, chemotherapy, a common treatment for various cancers, targets rapidly dividing cells, which includes not only cancer cells but also other fast dividing cells in the body, such as white blood cells. This often leads to a reduction in white blood cell count, a condition known as neutropenia. Similarly, other treatments like radiation therapy and certain types of medications may also lead to a reduced white blood cell count. How long until white blood cell count decreases? The time it takes for white blood cell count to decrease after beginning treatment can vary widely. It depends on many factors such as the specific type of treatment, dosage, the patient's overall health, and how the individual's body responds to the treatment. In the case of chemotherapy, a decrease in white blood cell count usually occurs within a few days to two weeks after treatment begins. It's crucial to note that this is a general time frame and can vary considerably from person to person. To sum up, a reduction in white blood cell count after starting treatment is dependent on various factors and can range from a few days to a couple of weeks. Frequent monitoring of blood cell counts is essential during this period to ensure safe and effective treatment. Always consult your healthcare provider for information tailored to your specific circumstances. We hope you found this video informative. Stay healthy, and remember to always keep in touch with your healthcare professionals for any medical concerns or questions.